Hi, my name is Inu and welcome back to today's video. Today we're going to be designing this birthday flyer with Pixar Lab. So if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe, click on the notification bell to be notified anytime I upload a new content. So without further ado, let's dive into the video. Alright, so the size for the design is a 1080 by 1080 okay so we're going to import our background all right so we're going to lock the layer i'm going to head over to color filters okay so we're going to twist this background okay i'm going to make some adjustments all right yeah yeah so we're going to click on this plus icon shape we head over to gradient okay so we, we are going to select any default gradient from here so we click on this plus icon we're going to select this slider over here the top slider so we click on this color drop we move the test slider to the transparent side and we click on OK. We click on this second slider. We click on color drop. I'm gonna change the color to black. Okay. So after you play around, you move this one towards the other like this. Yeah. All right. So after you press OK, or you click on OK. You click on your check mark you're gonna lay aside and we lock our layer all right so we click on this plus icon again go to draw we are going to select this pink color then increase the pen size and we increase the blur radius okay so we're gonna draw something like this over here okay yeah so we click on a check mark we head over to opacity then reduce opacity a bit okay so we're gonna position it here all right so we lock our layer we're going to import our images okay Go to the layer side, you send it under this, okay. Position it here. So we lock our layer. We're gonna import our second image. Just flip it, okay. Increase the size. All right. Go to the layer side, send it under the first image like this. Let's push this one here a bit. All right, so we lock our layer. Yeah, so we're gonna import our flowers. Right, you position one over here. We head over to color filters. We're gonna play around so we can get the exact colors. All right. Yeah. So we reduce the size and we position it here. Let's lock our layer. Then again, import. Increase the size and we position it here. Alright, so we go to color filter 
and we play around all right so we lock our layer yeah so we click on a plus icon again go to draw increase the pen size increase the blur radius then we're gonna select this pen color so we're gonna draw this one over here click here and you click here as well okay so after you click on your check mark all right so you go to the layer side you send it under the images like this okay after you lock your layer yeah so let's import another all right so i have this one over here so i will lock my layer yes so i'll click on this plus icon go for test click on edit yeah so i have my date of bet okay the date of bet is here you head over to color you're gonna change it to white then you head over to spacing then you increase spacing a bit let's head over to fonts and change the font Okay, let's change it to poppins. Yeah. Alright, we click on this plus icon again. Go for test. I'm gonna change the color to white. Head over to edit. So I have this test. I'm gonna five times. Okay. Yeah. So I will just. Reduce the size and I'll click and drag, send it under the image like this. Okay, I'll just reduce opacity. All right, so go to the layer side, then I'll lock my layer. Okay, so I'll click on the plus icon again, go for the test. I'm gonna change the color to white and click on edit. I'm gonna type this name Sylvia, okay? So I have this test which I'm going to include in the files, okay? Yeah. So I'm gonna use this file this um test effect okay yeah so yeah i'm gonna position it here and i'll lock my layer i'll click on the plus icon go for a shape yeah so i'm going to reduce opacity and increase stroke a bit i'm just gonna change the stroke color to white okay yeah i'm gonna leave it like this all right guys right, so i'll click on eraser and i'm going to erase this part all right yeah then i'll position it here click on the plus icon go for test how to position it here I'm going to change the color to white I will change the font to poppins regular head over to edit and I'll paste it here happy blessed birthday reduce the size 
Alright, so I will head over to line spacing. Let's reduce the size a bit. We use position and position it all. Okay, so I'll click on this plus icon, go for a shape. I want to change it to pink color. I'm going to position this. Go to the layer side, click and drag. All right. Yeah. Okay, so we'll click on the plus icon again. Test. Position it here. We go to color. We're going to change it to white as well. Click on. All right, yeah. So I'll head over to spacing, then increase spacing a bit. All right, I click on a plus icon again. Go for test. I'll position it here. Head over to color and change it to height. Click on edit. I'm going to paste this test here. Just reduce the size. All right, so we click on this plus icon test. We head over to edit. Pretty. We head over to background. We're going to change it to this color. All right, so we're going to change the color of the test to white. And we're going to change the font to poppins medium. All right, so reduce the size. Let's make another duplicate. We're going to change the background color to this. Let's make another duplicate again. Click on edit. We're gonna change the background color to pink. All right, so we're gonna reduce the size a bit. Yeah, so we're gonna select all this. Maybe we're gonna move it somewhere here. Yeah. So if you found this video helpful, kindly subscribe to this channel. See you in my next video.